um, leave it to me to be dressed like a college student going through finals, but like doing full face glam. No big deal. This is the life that I live. It's fine. Hey everyone, it's Cassie. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you and welcome back. Today I wanted to introduce you guys to a new series that I want to start on my channel called Beauty Basics. Today is going to be contour and highlighting and I just basically want to break down how I do it. And it's something that I get asked a lot, so I figured you guys would find it helpful, I'm hoping. If you do, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I would really appreciate that. So I'm just going to get into it. We're going to break down step by step how I contour and highlight. And yeah, let's just get started. So we're going to start with contouring. I first did my foundation and concealer, and now I'm going to go in with a cream contour color. This step is optional. This is if you want to go a little bit more glam. So I'm going to be using this sculpting palette by Makeup Forever. And I'm going to take the cream bronzer and just get a little bit on the brush. This is a MAC 209 brush. And I'm going to squeeze the bristles just to like make it really thin. And then if you have trouble finding your cheekbones, um, I always say to do the fishy face. And then find that line and just follow it down. We want to focus bronzer towards the upper part of our hairline and then drag down any excess product. You don't want to just go in like with a straight line all the way down. You want the majority of the product to be up near the hairline. So I'm just going to apply this and blend it out. And like I said, focusing more of the product towards the upper part of the cheekbone and the hairline, and then dragging down the excess product. The next thing we want to do is apply it to our temples. So I always apply it on my hairline on each side. And then down the sides of my nose, I contour a little bit. And then I blend it out. And then the jawline, just to accentuate that and make the jawline appear more prominent and just make you look a little bit thinner. You know, if you've eaten dessert the past few nights or like candy, which is my demise of my diet. Um, so yeah, you definitely just want to make sure everything's blended out. But it doesn't have to be perfect because this is just kind of like the cream base. We're going to set everything with powder and, and blend it out. So. so the next thing I do is apply the cream highlight that comes in this palette. And this step is optional as well, but I just kind of dab that on the high points of my cheeks and just highlight that a little bit. Setting everything with a translucent powder or a setting powder will really allow our bronzer and highlight to blend well, the powder bronzer and highlight is what I'm referring to. Um, so I always like doing that. So if you do have drier skin and you want to go for more of a dewy look, you can definitely stop here and just go on your way and that would be fine. Um, but like I said, I'm a little bit extra, so I'm going to apply some powder products now. So the powder bronzer that I'm going to use today is the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. Um, this is in the color bronze, I think. I don't know. I think they have a few different shades. Um, I'm probably the medium shade, which is typical for me. Um, so I'm just going to apply that to a MAC 108, I think this is. I don't know. I've had this brush for so long that the numbers kind of um, rubbed off. So I'll put it down below for you. I'll link it if I find it. So we're just going to kind of follow the cream bronzer. And I always pinch the brush and then blend it out. And like I said before, you want to focus most of the product towards the hairline and the upper apple of the cheek and then drag the extra down. 
because you really want the area closest to the mouth to kind of be blended out the most. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And you really want to blend it out in that hairline as well. You don't want it to be looking too crazy, you know? So the next thing is to follow basically everywhere that we apply the cream bronzer. Just the temple of the cheek, blend it into that hairline. We're going to go down the sides of the nose. Tip of the nose. And then the jawline. And really blend it out. Bring it up towards the bottom of your ear and blend it kind of behind your ear. Just really blend it out nicely. Underneath the chin and then the other jawline. Just really blend it out. And then I always go on each side of my neck. I don't know why, but that's just what I do. Next, I always apply my blush. And today I'm gonna to use Cheeky Bugger. This is by the Kelly Osborne and Sharon Osborne collection by MAC. And I'm just gonna apply that to the apples on my cheeks and then blend. So now that you've applied your blush of choice, now we're going to highlight. And I'm gonna use Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill and Becca Cosmetics. So highlighting for me is typically a two-step process. When I want to highlight on just a normal day, I'll just use a MAC 165 brush and just get the product and blend it out on the high points of my cheeks. And then down my nose. My forehead, just kind of brush it, and then my cupid's bow. But when I want to be a little bit extra, I'll take some more product, tap off the excess, and then spray it with setting spray. Let it dry just a little bit, you don't want it too wet, and then apply a second coat. with the setting spray and it really amps up the look. And I love doing this when I wanna be like super extra and glam, which is like an everyday thing for me. Now I'm going to kind of blend everything with just a big fluffy blending brush. Just to kind of blend everything together. Since we contoured our jawline, you definitely want to blend that out as well. And that is it. So that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Um, let me know how you feel about the Beauty Basics series and what you want to see next, whether it's you know basic tips for blending eyeshadow or just whatever it is that you guys want to learn how to do. I will try and help. And yeah, I will put all my social media links down below and I'll put them somewhere here in the video. So definitely follow me there as well. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.